Warning. All stunts performed in this video were conducted in a safe and controlled environment by trained professionals. So please do not try this at home. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And today we got another banger video for y'all, man. Yes, I'm back again. I told y'all for the whole month of December, we going crazy with the uploads. Had a video yesterday, got a video today. Go drop a video tomorrow, the day after that, the day after that, the day after that, the day after that. We gonna try to upload every single day in December, so make sure you turn on post notifications. Let me ask you some questions. Are you looking forward to getting a Glock? Do you wanna purchase a Switch for that Glock? Well, if you say yes to those questions, you're going to jail. But, if you wanna buy yourself an Airsoft Glock with the Switch, I'm here to let you know which one is the best option for you. So, I currently own one, two, three Glockies with a switch. They're all airsoft. I do not own any switches. If anybody's watching this video, I do not own any switches. I do not condone any illegal activity. But, oh, but I do have three airsoft switches. And I'm probably thinking like, what's the best airsoft switch gun that I have? The best fully automatic Glock airsoft gun that I own. And if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that that 18C was my first full auto handgun. You know, I loved it. I watched a lot of videos on it before I copped it. It came with the 50 round mag. You know, it's just very beautiful. Got the nice slide cuts at the top. I threw an old light on there. It's just such a great frame, full size handgun. Looks magnificent, looks amazing, looks beautiful. Got the finger grooves, you know, Gen 3. The iron sights is a little knocked off. Let me go ahead and fix that for that. Oh, God, no, hold on. There it go, hold on. Might have got bumped around. I don't know. Might have, you feel what I'm saying? Might have pistol with somebody and knocked the iron sights off, but it's all good, though. Does have a working blowback. So, let me see if this thing got some gas in it. No, no gas in that mag. It does lock back as well, but... There's no, uh, there's no gas in the magazine, so that's why it's not shooting right now. I gotta put some gas in there. Um, next up, we got the uh, Glock 23 with the switch. So it's pretty much the same thing. Same thing. It's pretty much the same thing as the 18C. It got different slide cuts at the top. It's a little bit more bulkier though. The 23, you feel me? It's not as full size. The handle is shorter. It's more compact. It doesn't have that 17 booty like I like to say, you know, the Glock 17 got a little booty to it. This 23 don't really got too much booty, but it got a nice little handle. Still got the finger grooves, got the attachment rail. Uh, it's a fuller size. So if you like, if you got bigger hands, then you probably like the 23 with the switchy, but got the semi, got the fully. You know how it get, go crazy, boy. The last up, I got the Glock 26. So this is my smallest subcontact Glock, subcompact Glock with a switch. It also got the gold engravements on it. Um, it's like palm size, so it can fit in my hand. I got small hands. My hands is not large. I think my hands is still bigger than Kenny Pickett's though. But anyways, I think uh, the Glock 26 is like, it's a decent size, you know, pretty small. But when you put that 50 in there, it do look valid. So I don't know if y'all, I don't know though. So the question for today's video is, which Airsoft Glock is the best with the Switch? Before we get into the shooting challenge, everybody comment down below which one you think is going to be the best. The 23, the 18C, or the 26? You already know what I'm rocking with. I'm sticking with my 18C, man, but we're going to see what these other things do. See what the fire rate looking like. See how they feel in my hand. We're going to take them outside and shoot them. Simple. They all going to get the 50 sticks, so I'm just going to... Switch this magazine around into the other Glocks. I forgot. I think this one came with the 8-round magazine. I don't know where it's at. And I think this one came with a 10-round magazine. I can't find it either, bro. I be losing all that stuff. So, shout out to that 50 stick from Evike. Um, it's really a 30-round magazine, like, if you have a Glock. But it holds 50 BBs. That's why I call it the 50-round. So, it's a 50-round stick. Go ahead and slap that in all the Glocks. See how they spit. And I've been seeing y'all in the comments, everybody like, wave check, wave check, yo, Igual, let me see them waves. Like, chill, bro. Y'all know normally I stay with the fresh. My barber be hooking me up every two weeks, but 
I haven't got a cut in a while. He's been out of town. You know, Thanksgiving just passed. You know, family issues. Like, it's looking a little rough under that Dewey. I'm not going to lie, but since I love y'all so much, bro, and y'all really want to see what's under my do-rag, I got y'all, bro. Hey, no screenshots. No screenshots, bro, because I know y'all going to be weird. Don't screenshot this. Post it on Instagram. Nothing like that, bro. Like, I'm trusting y'all right now to see my real hair under this do-rag. Don't be weird, bro. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Bruh. See, bro, y'all really thought I was going to show y'all my hair? Like, bro, no, sir. I need to get that fresh cut. And y'all was going to screenshot. I know y'all was probably screen recording. Y'all was going to try to expose me, man. Y'all was going to try to do me dirt. That's crazy. But, hey, man, I'm never lacking. When y'all thought I didn't have a do-rag on, I still got another do-rag. That's what I'm... All right, so enough talking. Let's load these things up and let's shoot them off. All right, so today we are going to be using the 0.12 gram plastic BBs. I probably should be using the other ones. Oh, this magazine is leaking, bro. But this magazine is leaking air. I wonder if I could tape it. I need to buy another 50 round magazine now. That's bull crap. We put this tape up on our mags. It's a broke boy thing. I don't think it's working, bro. It's not blocking the air from coming out. Let's see if it'll shoot a single round. I'm gonna flip that thing to uh, semi-automatic. Close your eyes. Well, it shot one round. So hopefully it'll shoot a burst. Let's just go ahead and take it outside. We're probably gonna have to refill it with air again because it's leaking out all the air, but everybody watching this video right now, make sure you put on your safety glasses because we practice the extremist, most utmost safety. Do not try this at home. All right, so first up, we got that 18C, boy. Let's go ahead and flip that switch to full auto and see if she's spitting. Boy. Well, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. We probably gonna have to run a normal magazine because this 50 round is leaking all my damn air out. All right, so she, uh, this magazine not working. I'm about to just throw this thing away. This thing's dookie. But we do have the 10 round. I think this is actually more than 10. That's definitely more than 10, but it's like a 15 round uh, magazine. Um, I put some green gas in it, and we're going to use this instead. So, first up, we got the uh, Glock 18C, man. Let's take this thing back outside. And as you can tell from the magazine, I replaced the .12 BBs with some heavier .20 gram BBs. So, this test should be more efficient, sir. Glock 18C, take two, man. Go ahead and flip that switch down. Shrock out. I was wondering why I didn't lock back. There it go. Well, at first I thought the thing didn't lock back, but then it did lock back after that last shot. Um, the full auto kind of sounded a little sloppy. I think that's because I've just had it for so long, and I don't put no oil on the slide, so it's like the slide isn't really moving that efficiently. But it still shot pretty well for full auto. Um, I like it. Next up, we're going to take the same magazine out, and we're going to put it into the Glock 23. So like I said, this is a little bit more bulkier. It got a little bit more girth to it. It's a little wider. Hey, if y'all are wondering, like, yo, Iguop, why are you shooting these BBs out into the woods and you polluting the environment? No, I'm not. These BBs are biodegradable, which means that they're not made of plastic. They're made of actual squirrel food. So when they're shot into the woods, when the rain hits the soil on top of the BB pellet, it's going to disintegrate and turn into squirrel food so that the squirrels can eat it. And then it's going to pollinate and turn into flowers in the springtime. So that is why we are shooting these good BBs and we're not shooting the bad BBs, bro. Save the environment. Save the squirrels. Save the turtles. Next up, we got the Glock 23 ski. Let's get crazy. And you can see that the magazine is not sitting flush with the Glock 23 because it's more compact than the 18C. And it got a smaller handle and a smaller frame. So 
keep that in mind. All right, so we got the Glock 23. Y'all thought I was lacking while I was recording my video? No, sir. That's not no BB gun, boy. But anyway, here we go, Glock 23. You can see it in the light. Big photo. Go ahead and flip that switch. Let's see what that full auto talking about. Boy, that thing sound like it fought it. Whatever that was, that was bad. So, the Glock 40, the Glock 23, the Big 40, that sound like the Big 40. That thing stink. That, I don't know, the little gas came out at the end. Um, Cause that felt like a little weird. So the last test we, it didn't even shoot. What? Do we gotta try that one more? Bro, I don't feel like getting up and going outside every time, boy, I'm lazy. Hey, I don't know what's up with that 23, but uh, it didn't even shoot, so we gotta try that one more time, hold on. Now it's shooting, oh my goodness. We gotta go back outside. Glock 23, take two. Boy. Well. I gave you two chances. I gave you two chances. I really gave you three chances. Cause inside, you were shooting pretty good. But outside, you were shooting pretty bad. You was like, I don't know what you was doing. It might be because the green gas doesn't work well in the cold weather. But like, bro, it was only outside for like two seconds. I shot it inside, it worked. Then I brought it outside, it didn't work. So like, if you choking that bad, just say that. Cause the 18C won't doing all that. But I could feel the magazine getting really cold. So, you know, once you're shooting full auto a lot, the magazine starts to freeze up. That's why my 18, that's why you could tell from uh, my 50 round magazine, when you shoot full auto a lot, it freezes up the mag and the CO2 and the green gases get really cold. So we might gotta let this thing warm up for a little bit. Brief intermission while we let this thing warm up cause it's very cold. So how you guys been? Just gonna stop the video for a little minute. You know, we gotta let it warm up. Uh, make sure you guys follow my Twitch, man. Link down below in the description. Twitch, Eastside Givens. Twitchy Twitch Twitch. Don't be a, and I got a PC right there. Boom. So uh, come check my, my setup out. Live on Twitch. All right, is it warmed up yet, bro? I don't wanna wait all day. I don't know what I'm saying. Feel what I'm saying, man? I've been putting it in my shirt and I've been holding it like this, so. It's still a little cold, but you know what? I think it's fine. It's still a little cold, but a wise man once said, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So we gonna go ahead. The 23, you lost your chance, boy. You're done. You had three chances. You actually shot pretty well inside the crib, but outside, you're choking. I don't know what's going on. So right now, you're dead last. The 18C got the number one spot. So really, it's just up to this Glock 26. We're going to see if it's better than the 18C or worse. There's no way that it's worse than the 23, man. So let's find out. Boom. Magazine's poking out the most. But hey, let's see if this thing is spitting. Safety first. Glock 26. Gold slide, custom engraving. Go ahead and flip that switch. See it. That thing pulled it as well, but at least it let the shots off first. All right, man. So now that we shot all three of these blocks with a switch, what did we learn? We learned that the green gas gets very cold and it makes the magazines freeze up. So. If you guys could feel it through the screen, you could actually see my fingerprints because the frost on the uh, magazine. But the AT&C is the best, man. Hands down, shoots the best full auto, best fire rate. It's nice and compact. The magazine fits flush. It comes with the 50 round magazine as well. So boom, you're gonna rock out with that 50 stick. Looks great. I love it, 10 out of 10. Next up, the Glock 23. Uh, the magazine sits out like an inch, so it's not flush like the 18C, it's a little bit smaller, but the full auto is not as efficient as the 18C because it's got a heavier slide and a bigger frame, so 
it's not sliding back as fast it has more weight to it so that could be another reason why also uh the magazine was a little cold so it was like pooting out at the end i get out like a, a a five out of ten bro but then the glock 26 sits out like what is that two and a half inches maybe three inches i don't know i don't know y'all tell me how long that is that it i don't even know for real but uh the glock 26 with the switch it shot full auto pretty good um you know the cold magazine probably messing them up a little bit but i'll give it like a seven out of ten so in order we got the 18c then the 26 then the 23 last so if you guys are looking to cop a glock with a switch airsoft for christmas i would absolutely recommend the glock 18c it's on amazon link in the description if you're looking to cop it it's about 200 dollars it's pretty expensive if you're just trying to get an airsoft gun like 200 dollars bro for an airsoft gun it's pretty damn crazy you might as well cop a real glock but one-to-one -one replica of the actual thing it shoots pretty well you know and it's fun so if you got the money for it, shit, blow that money, boy. Or if you just want a good Christmas gift. Next up, the uh, Glock 23 or the Glock. Next up, the Glock 26. I got this from Crown Airsoft. It took a whole month to get here. So if you're looking for a Christmas gift, do not get this. It's going to take forever to get there. It took about a month for shipping because it imports from another country. And then it's just not good, bro. I'm not going to lie, but. If you're looking for something for early next year, like January, February, go ahead and get you one. Crown Airsoft. I got this from Crown Airsoft as well. The Glock 23 is dookie in full auto. I don't even think it's worth buying it. Do not buy a full auto Glock 23. It's not worth it. If you're going to get something full auto, get the 18C. Or if you're willing to wait a long time, you could get this custom gold engraved Crown Airsoft Glock 26. But... The winner of the full auto Glock with a switch, the Glock 18C, comes with a 50 round magazine. Doesn't come with the laser, so take that out your mind. You could also buy the um, Olight, olight.com, slash, use code Esai at checkout for Olight. You could get some um, percentage off your order. But, yeah, man, Glock 18C is my favorite Glock with a switch. So, there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe all December long. We're going to be dropping some bangers. Make sure you check out my other channels and make sure you follow me on Twitch, man. I will be doing another Rating My Subscriber Guns video real soon. So if you want to be featured in that video, make sure you join my Discord, bro. I no longer will be looking at my DMs for pictures uh, for y'all gun ratings. I'm going to be looking through my Discord. So the Discord will be linked in the Twitch and everything like that. Make sure you guys get tapped in. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all on my next video, man. Big farty. That thing stink. That, I don't know. The little gas came out at the end. Boy.